Salutations, ladies and germs. My name is Mr. Fox. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And today we are going to be looking at something new hand cannon because it's, uh, they got created with the name. In terms of perks, we have Dream Work. Once per reload, assist or assist in final blows partially refill the weapon from the reserves, potentially overflowing the mag. Is that like clown cartridge? Pretty sure that's basically clown cartridge. We also have multi-kill clip reloading grants increased damage based on the number of rapid kills made beforehand. Ensemble improved handling and reload speed when allies are nearby. Possibly combo with multi-kill clip. I know you can get feeding frenzy here. However, with the nerfs to feeding frenzy, I mean, feeding frenzy and multi-kill clip would probably be Better for PvE, I'm guessing, but... In terms of the magazine, we have Armor Piercing Round, Slight Increased Range, or High Cal for Slight Increased Range with Flinch. For the barrel, we have Corkscrew Rifling, Slight Increased Range and Spilly, as well as Handling, or a Fluted Barrel, which would give us more handling and cut into our range. We are all gonna ignore that this is the better Devils Enemy claimed weapon zone. model. You okay, we're day. ignoring that. Because it is something new. <laughs> oh my god, that kick. God Enemy damn does it kick. Enemy has I mean, it is a 120, so I'm guessing that's expected. It's just, you know, after um, using the last Don't word... It, it's it's gonna be a little hard to, you know, follow that up. Because it's the last fucking word. And that gun is just insanely amazing balls. Enemy has advantage. Is it just me or is this lobby very lag? Numbers, Guardian. Excellent. Tell them to line up fast. Nope. I'll just say though, our reload speed is very slow. Okay, not as slow when ensembles proc, but without ensemble, you are not gonna have the funnest time. Together. Nothing. You have my respect, Hunter. Two for one. You captured Zone B. Zone advantage is yours. The kick! Oh god! I love the kick! It. Where the hell did I get so much special from? What the fuck? Why would you jump up? That's just asking to get dead. Like, never go airborne in a gunfight, dude. Shut the enemy 
Especially against the hand cannon I'm using, like... Easily... Could have had me there. If he just... You know. Woohoo! Fuck, 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 fuck! At least I got my energy back before I died. That hit me through the wall. Really? <laughs> well, that is just a whole new level of bullshit right there. <laughs> Nope. I didn't want to melee him. I wanted to throw my knife Don't at him. <laughs> you have advantage. But I, I guess when he dived, it put it the. Uh, advantage you captured zone B you have advantage Damn it. Oh man, this gun just feels clunky. Like, the last word shoots smooth as butter. This is like a well fought victory. Shooting really jagged ice cubes out of an ill fitting barrel that's also made of rubber, so it's like incredibly rigid and is. It feels. The crucible. Ah, ew. I don't know. Now, this hand cannon up. is single handedly tanking my KD. <laughs> I haven't used a gun in a while that's done that, so that's impressive. Zone a. Like, this just feels zone like the steady hand that they just brought back without bringing back the steady hand because they sunset the steady hand and they didn't want to admit that they made an oopsie in sunsetting a shit ton of guns and realizing there's next to no 120s left in the game. So they give us a 120 except 120s are trash right now and you shouldn't use them. Okay, they're not super trash, but if you're... It's a three tap to the head, I'm pretty sure. I don't think a body shot and two headshots is enough to kill. So either way, you are... Oh, no, body shot and two headshots is enough to kill. But either way, you're still having the same TTK... No, same TTK. Same amount of rounds to kill as, say, Ostringer. And when Ostringer exists, every other hand cannon in this game will be compared to Ostringer. 
because Ostringer is just dumb good. You captured zone A. Zone advantage is yours. Change the lead. And this thing is not. And what makes it even worse is that the last gun I used before doing this video was the last word. So I went from using one of the greatest hand cannons in this game to this. So that's where I Zone B lost. And I'm pretty sure that shot was gonna miss. I don't know how it hit him. You captured zone A. You have advantage. Hunters like you Okay, so we're doing a hundred and not hundred. Doing ninety-four to the head with multiple kills. Which still is not enough to two tap, as that is a hundred and eighty-eight damage. I wonder if you can two tap with a double stack of multi kill clips. Problem is, you are required to, you know, get two final blows in a row with this gun when it requires three, and you got five in the magazine, seven in the mag. So you're gonna have to get really fucking lucky with your shots. That's why we have fire teams. Zone A lost. Enemy has advantage. I'll be honest, I have no idea how my knife whiffed. I thought I had him close. And that grenade was not supposed to hit the wall, it was supposed to go... I just had to game. Gotcha, bitch! So if you can somehow manage to get two rapid kills before reloading this gun... You can possibly... Uh, that wasn't soon enough. Okay, we got a two stack. Come on, come on, come on. Someone turn this... You can two tap. You just need to get two kills before... And power play. Keep the pressure on. Problem is getting those two rapid kills beforehand, and then there being a third person to follow up and burn. Zone A lost. Zone C lost. Enemy has a bomb. So basically, you gotta ask yourself, do you want to style on people occasionally with the two-tapping hand cannon, even though multi-kill clip, I'm pretty sure, only lasts... Is it five seconds? Don't be lost. They have advantage. Together as one. I love Triple down. How do you get a triple kill and still get overwhelmed? So I don't know. It's a lot of work to get the two tap as well you gotta take out two guardians with Three headshots at the same TTK as, or lower TTK than a hand cannon that can also three tap to the head. You captured zone A. That's a power. I mean, it's possible. Now hold. Not very likely, but it's possible. Don't see lost. Not talking about it. Not. We're just not. Okay. Not talking about me just. Trimming his sideburns both times and whiffing those shots. Don't be captured. Power 
follow me. Keep the pressure on. Zone B lost. Oh, look at that kill streak. They're all standing still. They're all standing. Fuck, don't leave. Come on, man. I'm so fucked. Like, yeah, we're doing decent with the gun, but... I've had games where if I'm in close to people, it's just... Or they're in, like, the same optimal range and they're using... Any other gun, I tend to lose. Your victory like, gives the city hope. Guard. You can two tap. You just gotta put in a decent amount of work to two tap them. So something new, is it worth grinding? I wouldn't. That's just me. If 120s ever get a buff, I can see it being very good. So if you know, maybe go get it just for that reason and vault it. <laughs> but right now 120s like, they're not bad, they're just not as good as their 140 variants. And I just don't think it is very likely that you will be constantly getting multi kill clip times 2 in the Crucible, just based on how other guns are, and... Based... You need to be perfect with your shots. Everything has to hit and you'll have one bullet left over. And then you reload. Now, unless you have a teammate beside you, that reload is going to be as slow as fuck. <laughs> After which I'm pretty sure you will then get five seconds to run rampant to tap the people. If they don't murder you while you're reloading, and if you're not too dinged up from taking on two other guardians, so you pretty much gotta get the flank on them and hope you're the one dealing the final blow while your teammates are also lighting them up. It's just... A lot has to go your way for you to two-tap. Like, in every game I played, I got that 107 per bullet once. And I didn't even get the kill with it. My teammate finished him. I mean, it is cool to see a hand cannon that has the potential to two-tap, but at the same time, you can do that with a hell of a lot less work with, say, I don't know... Hawkmoon? <laughs> we'll do what this does, but way more consistently, and faster, and overall better. Like, there are so many good kinetic hand cannons out there. Like, so many. Last Word, Is Luna, Ostringer... Then you gotta take into account, like, Ace still exists, Thorn, really good. And not even just, like, the kinetic hand cannons, you also got Adept Pally, which... Ooh. So I don't know. I could see some people loving it, especially people who love 120s. But from a purely competitive standpoint, I don't see this overtaking any of the 140s that are currently in the meta. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day and stay classy. Balls hanging low, wall a pop a ball off of your chain swinging, clang clang, and it costs a lot. Bitch, I'm always at the gala, yeah, and you are not bad as beat. Keep on going till you hit the spot. Whoa.